Yeast infections, BV, and UTIs may seem like three different problems, but what if they all stem from the same underlying cause? Welcome back. I'm Dr. George Springer, author of The Gut Connection, and if you've watched parts one and two of this series, you've seen how common and frustrating these recurring infections can be. But today, we're pulling back the curtain and connecting the dots. The reason these infections keep returning might not be where you think, it may be hiding in your gut. Let's start by reviewing the key similarities between chronic vaginal yeast infections, bacterial vaginosis, and recurring UTIs. They're all caused by an overgrowth of microbes. They're all treated with antimicrobial medications, antifungals, or antibiotics. And in far too many cases, they keep coming back. But here's the most important commonality. All of them reflect a microbial imbalance. And that imbalance often begins not in the bladder or vagina, but in the gut. Conventional medicine tends to focus on external triggers like hygiene, sexual activity, or hormonal changes. These may play a role, but they're not the core issue. If they were, everyone who used antibiotics or had sex would end up with chronic infections. And that clearly isn't the case. The truth is, the gut is the body's largest reservoir of yeast and bacteria. When your gut microbiome becomes imbalanced, whether due to poor diet, antibiotics, chronic stress, or other lifestyle factors, it creates a ripple effect. Pathogenic microbes can escape the gut and migrate to the vaginal and urinary tracts. Your immune system becomes dysregulated, unable to defend properly, and antimicrobial medications, while helpful short-term, can actually make the gut imbalance worse, leading to more frequent infections over time. What we've seen in clinical practice for decades is now being confirmed by science, and the evidence is eye-opening. A groundbreaking study published in Nature Microbiology, May 2022, looked at women with recurrent UTIs and discovered several key findings. They had a less diverse gut microbiome. They had fewer bacteria that produce butyrate, a key anti-inflammatory compound. Their immune systems responded differently to bacterial invasion in the bladder, and even after antibiotics cleared bacteria from the bladder, the same bacteria survived in the gut, ready to trigger the next infection. In other words, antibiotics can wipe out the symptoms, but not the source. Until the gut is rebalanced, the cycle continues. Now you can see the big picture. These chronic infections aren't random, they're connected. And the missing piece for many women, gut health. In part four, we'll show you exactly how to heal your gut, rebalance your microbiome, and finally break free from this cycle for good. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell so you don't miss the final part of this essential series. And if this message connected with you, share your story in the comments below. You are not alone, and there is a real solution. I'll see you in the next video.